Bonjour, Doridian. Welcome to Weekly with Olivier Vidurin. I am Olivier Vidurin. We will be together 20 minutes. At first, I will do a international press review. And after, as usual, I will receive a guest. But let's start uh, with my first subject. The speech of Putin at the Federal Assembly, the 1st of December. What we can say about this speech? First, nothing new, nothing interesting. Uh, a lot of observers say that this speech was boring. And Putin didn't do something uh, really interesting. He, 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 he was in mood of only to present internal, internal affairs and economy. He didn't speak about international affairs, only internal affairs. And that's really new because, you know, before, when Putin did this speech in front of the Federal Assembly, that was like a show. And everybody was there to see this show. Now, this uh, last one was really boring. Why? Why we can say about that? I think Putin cannot now be uh, like new, uh, cannot do a new show because look, the situation in Russia economically is not good. And he knows that. And, and in an international way, what is the situation? In Ukraine, a war, annexion of Crimea, sanction against, against Russia. This is not a good result. What you can show? Nothing. You have an economy, decreasing economy, you have problem with Europe, with the war in Ukraine. And, and you know that uh, Putin administration was waiting from uh, Trump some I can say some good, uh, good invitations or something to to say about maybe Russia and America will be more closer. No, no way. You know that uh, Trump nominated uh, uh, for the Pentagon uh, the General uh, Matisse. And really, now we know that the new administration of Trump is really not in favor of Russia. That what can uh, do now uh, Putin? Nothing. He can only talk about what's happened in Russia, internal affair, because ah, he lose. He's losing the game on an international level. And that's very, very interesting. Then this speech was boring. No perspective, no future, nothing new. Really, that's a speech for nothing. I think also, I'm sure that Putin knows the situation. That's why he was not very optimistic in this speech. And we will see, I think, uh, next months that really uh, we will have, I think, some news from Russia. Internal, in internal affairs, I can say about, you know, this economy. This, this economy in Russia is decreasing. And you cannot lead a country if your people are starving if your people are more and more poor and this is the big problem of Putin. He, I think Putin doesn't know if he will have the support of his people next year because the economy is decreasing. Now, okay, now let's talk about the referendum in Italy. You know that the referendum of Italy was about a change of the constitution of Italy. And uh, the answer was no. Lot of newspaper said that's a bad news for Europe. No, that's not a bad news for Europe. And the populist party uh, are not, uh, didn't support uh, this no. To, to this referendum. 
You know, if I was in Italy, I also voted no at this referendum. Why? Because the change of the constitution uh, of Italy wanted by the government of Italy, this change was bad. Because, you know, they wanted to change the constitution of Italy to um, put more centralization. And that's very bad. Now, nowadays, everybody wants to do decentralization. And that's why the Italian people voted against this uh, change of the constitutions. Not because they are against Europe, but because they were against the change of the constitutions. And the government of Italy, of course, is changing and will change, but I'm sure, you know, that will not have an impact for the open union. Because this is an internal affair, Italian internal affair. And I repeat, this change of the constitution was wrong and Italian people voted no. And if I was in Italy and if I uh, was an Italian people, I also voted no for uh, this referendum because really the proposition of the change of the constitution was really, really bad. Now, uh, I want to talk also about another aspect, the result of the presidential election in Austria. Oh my God, everybody is talking about uh, extreme right party, uh, far right party, uh, populism in, in Europe. In Austria, the far right party, the populist party, they lost the game. Yes, the new president of Austria is not from a far right party. He's not a populist. He's ecologist. He's pro European. And I know, I talked about this uh, election in Austria with some friends uh, in Paris and in Brussels. And they said to me, you know, this president of Austria is really in favor of the European Union. And that's good, because in Austria now, the, the extreme right party, they lost the game in those elections. And that's a good news. That's a good news. Because, you know, when you see all the newspapers that say, oh, again, populism, populism. Yes, but the populism, they lost the game in Austria. And that's a good news. I repeat. Now, I want to talk also about a bad news, a very bad news for democracy. You know, I, I, was, uh, I was on my computer and on the internet and I received a message from a friend. Oh, Olivier, look at something very bad is happening. And that was this uh, news about Cambridge Analytica. Just like, you know, Cambridge Analytica is what? It's like an institute uh, who help some candidate to be elected, but with some system of manipulation. Wow. They are, I think, they, they, you know, they want to sell a candidate or a political program like uh, we can sell a product, uh, a car. Wow. Feel that's, that's really for democracy, it's very bad news. Democracy is not a product. Democracy is not a car, democracy is not a food. It's not. Democracy is the destiny of the people. And really, I was very afraid for the future of democracy when I saw the process of Cambridge Analytica. For me, this is very bad news. Because you cannot sell democracy. Democracy is in the heart of the people. Not a problem of market. It's not a problem of advertising. It's the soul of humanity. 
Today I am very happy to receive as a guest Irina Kobanitsa, CIO of Miss Ukraine National Committee. Thank you. <laughs> always happy to see you. You're so always smiling, shiny person. <laughs> Merci, c'est gentil. It's <laughs> nice. Um, then, um, I want to talk with you about Miss Ukraine Committee, your activities, what are you doing, what you did also. And can can you present to us the story of Miss Ukraine contest? It started at 1991, mm -hmm. so when oh, actually Ukraine started, the history mm -hmm. of independence Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And um, I can talk about just a period of our activity, mm -hmm. uh, last few years. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's national contest, mm -hmm. uh, which present a girl on the world contest, uh, mm -hmm. where all countries of the world present their girls. So it's, uh, I guess it's quite important part of uh, life of each uh, nation, each government. It's not only about economy, political system, but it's also about uh, beauty. <laughs> we will not talk about politics. Mm -hmm. uh, we will talk about beauty. Uh, mm -hmm. You, a um, lot of some Miss mm -hmm. Ukraine yeah. uh, became famous. Uh, most of them, actually. Most of yeah. them. And mm -hmm. can you can, can mm -hmm. have some example of the best ones? It's one part of our policy, of uh, our policy of our new team, mm -hmm. that we uh, gather all Miss Ukraine that we could gather around us all together. Uh, they help us with our project, we help them with their project. I guess it's very important because it's like we should be like one family, all Miss Ukraines of different years. And I'm really proud of most of them. Uh, because as you know, uh, maybe most famous of them, Vlada Litovchenko, that's mm -hmm. uh, unbelievably active woman. Woman, <laughs> that always surprised me with something that promoting Ukrainian history, culture, the trying to save all Ukrainian historical places. Uh, I always wonder uh, how much time she spent for sleeping if she has this time. <laughs> she always help us. She always uh, as a tutor, as a mentor, teacher, I don't know, she um, work with the girls in preparation uh, period, I know she's yeah. very she's very famous I saw and very famous to help Ukraine to present mm -hmm. the culture of Ukraine but uh, it's, not, it's not only sorry it's not only she one more girl Zhenya Tulchevska mm -hmm. she created her own charity foundation mm -hmm. uh, working a lot with the children mm -hmm. uh, the other one Lesia uh, Matveva Partskhaladze she's very famous psychologist now mm -hmm. she's practicing she's uh, making different conferences uh, she received maybe four or five uh, psychological degrees uh, additional degrees mm -hmm. uh, after her main uh, the other one, uh, Lika Roman, you know, also she's promoting yeah. like of uh, family values. Uh, I and, know Lika, yeah. Yeah, so each of them very different, but uh, we can be proud of them. I know you are now in charge of Miss Ukraine National Committee since two years. Yeah. Um, what is your feeling now? <laughs> what is your feeling? What, what, because you are very engaged. Mm -hmm. And you are also engaged because of you are sensitive with <laughs> I, I know your team and what is your feeling now? Uh, you know what? As more ahead, I'm becoming more and more happy. I like it more and more. Mm -hmm. I see new possibilities. I see new opportunities for, for me, my, for myself, mm -hmm. for our team, for the contest. I see. Um, I, uh, I see our mission that we should realize in the country as working with the young generation. And uh, now we also start uh, to be more active in social life with uh, diplomats, with uh, international uh, committees. I saw that. Mm -hmm. And uh, you change a lot the image of Miss Ukraine mm -hmm. contest. Thank you. <laughs> and your team is very engaged in social activity. Mm -hmm. And I saw, for example, some, some project like Beauty with a Purpose. Mm -hmm. Some uh, you, you work in cooperation with uh, art institutes. You uh, work also mm -hmm. with uh, children with uh, autistic spectrum. You organize event with uh, Moms Earth Foundation. Can and you speak and about many, that? many more? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. This I mean, is only a few examples. <laughs> I think this is the most important thing that should do uh, Miss Ukraine contest, mm -hmm. any contest of any country. Mm -hmm. That's the main mission of uh, women should be about it. 
<clears throat> working with uh, children with some problematical parts of uh, social life of the country. Mm, so <clears throat> this beautiful uh, purpose, it's a project of uh, Sasha Kucherenka, our Miss mm -hmm, Ukraine, mm -hmm. that's already uh, competing uh, in Washington for Miss World. Wow. And she's got really good positions, by the way. In wow. some part of the contest, she already in top three, top ten. So we'll see wow. <laughs> uh, 18 of December, we'll see the final <laughs> result. And uh, all this about uh, working with charity with children, I'm trying to find right way. Because on my opinion, it's not right when you just uh, come to orphan's house with a presence. Uh, come and go, come and go and everybody. everybody. Can do that. I don't see it's uh, normal for the mental uh, developing of these small children. I think in this way we're breaking them. Yeah. I, so that's why uh, for the next year we uh, choose for ourselves like a tutor program. That's, yeah, that's good because mm -hmm. you know to give a gift is very simple. Agree, yeah. And to be a mentor mm -hmm. is more, more useful. And when you're a small child and you uh, get in use just to receiving presents, mm -hmm. then you get in use that it's okay that everybody owns you presents, but nobody owns anything to everybody. And the children needs love only, and they need uh, they, they, they they want to understand that you take care of them and that's very important to Sometimes be present. Sometimes they need advices, they yeah, need your course. experience. But this is part of life. love also <laughs> yes. when you love children. But it's more right, uh, more yeah. right way yeah, I think uh, so, yeah. of collaborating with uh, these kind of things. That's a good, that's <laughs> good, that's good, that's good. Mm. Um, Miss Ukraine National Committee participated also in various diplomatic mission and initiative mm -hmm. with China, with Japan, with Canada, with the American mm -hmm. Chamber of Commerce. Can what? We just started, you know. Yeah. Uh, it started just from greeting, like some official pairs, people from uh, like mayor, like other official uh, people mm -hmm. should greet some official delegations. So the same like uh, me and Miss Ukraine, we were greeting some uh, chambers of commerce or some official delegations coming to our country. But I think uh, we should develop something more from that. We should make some collaborations, like we should share experience. Uh, uh, we, for example, uh, talking about China, a Chinese delegation, we will take part in some art mission. Uh, we were invited by our friend, painter. I, I saw, uh, Kazuk, I saw, Kusuk, yes. yeah, I, saw, I know <laughs> him, I saw him. On, very on active guy. Also, yes, I'm very active. Uh, unbelievably person. I know him, he's a very active person, he's a very <laughs> mm -hmm. well-known artist in Ukraine. So I see that this is also um, kind of way for us to promote Ukrainian culture, to make some collaborations in between. Uh, uh, for now, it's going about China. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, it's huge. But you were in Japan also with this organization to, to fight uh, uh, for equality, gender. Uh, next year, next year there will be a year of Japan uh, in Ukraine, mm -hmm. and so now we became kind of friends with uh, the ambassador of mm -hmm. uh, Japan in. Ukraine and he also invited uh, me to be like ambassador for the next year so we'll see we uh, by the end of the year we'll plan some programs mm -hmm. uh, in between Ukraine and Japan I, I've been in Japan but it's uh, that was not on business it was uh, <laughs> okay and I want to talk also because about a, a, a project mm -hmm. uh, be with me mm -hmm. what is this project that's exactly what uh, we were just talking about, mm -hmm. about um, coaching, mm -hmm. uh, collaborating with orphans houses, uh, about mentoring, coaching. And um, we would like to make it like a government program. Like for the next year, for example, we definitely, for this year, girls all uh, who, take, who took part in the contest, they did some social project. Mm -hmm. uh, for the next year, we want to make it obligatory uh, for all the mm -hmm. girls that pass castings because they are too young. A lot of them, uh, some of them good, some maybe, I don't know, not very good, but we should teach them to try uh, to try to show them right way. How, mm -hmm. how should it be that you should uh, be concentrated not just on yourself, that you should share uh, past it's part of your time, of your, I don't know, love of your, uh, mm -hmm. with somebody, somebody behind you. Mm -hmm. So that's ex exactly about it, about um, mentoring, coaching with the children. Like you can meet a child once a week. Okay, if you're very busy or you travel a lot, once a week, one hour. 
For you it can be nothing, but it can change uh, life a life lot. Sure, this yeah. program yeah. already been working last uh, seven years, mm -hmm. but we, we, we just, uh, just from this year we're going to join it. And okay. I hope we will, we will head it and we will <laughs> Let spread it. Let me know it. if I can help you, because I, I really, children for mm -hmm. me is a key issue mm -hmm. of the future. You know? Just we should brought them in right way. Yeah, that's... Not to spoil, not to break their minds. <laughs> yeah? yeah, and I, that, that's very important mm -hmm. and I share those values also to, to, to take care of, of children because this is the future of Ukraine. Yeah. The future of the world. Yeah, that's then, true. Then thank you very much. <laughs> thank uh, you. <laughs> and I'm sure that you will come back to, <laughs> to talk about the results of uh, Be of With Me for contest. example. And our sure. contest. And contest, world contest. Miss World. Yeah. Voilà. Thank you very Always much. Always nice to yeah. see you. Thank right. you. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> I hope you enjoy those 20 minutes together. I hope to see you Sunday. Au revoir. Dobova, Chenya. Never give up. <laughs>